Hello everyone and welcome back to the course Angular Login and Registration with Fake Backend. In this tutorial, we will be covering our third topic, Registration Component. We will quickly finish building this component so that from next tutorial, we can move on to the exciting part of our series, which is Root Guard and Support Utility. So in order to create component, we will be using our usual command that is ngGC register. And this command will generate these four files for us. So we'll be editing three out of these four files, starting with HTML. And this is the code. Next, TS file. And at last, our CSS. So the reason we are not editing our four file is because that file is for test cases. And since we are not writing any test cases, we are leaving it as it is. So we are done with the explanation. Now let's start with the coding part. Okay, now here we'll be creating our component. For that, we'll be using command ng, g, c, and the command and the name of the component. Now Angular CLI will create all the four files and update the app.module.ts file. The next thing is adding code to each of these files. So the first code is the HTML code. So this code is uh, very similar to the code that we have written for the login component HTML. The only difference is this code has more fields in it because we want to capture all the details for the user creation. Okay. The next thing is adding the code for TS file. Now here in this TS file, we have logic for registering the user and for that we are calling the user service. And there we are passing all the form values that we are getting from the registered form. And after that, we are using the alert services or the message component that we have created to display the messages of the success event or the error event. And on the basis of successful registration, we are navigating the route to the login part so that user can enter the credentials. Whereas for the unsuccessful registration we are displaying error now let's just copy the css again we are uh, ignoring all the error messages or errors that we are getting because we are not built these services so we'll be building these services in the next tutorial. So this is it for this particular uh, tutorial's coding part. Now let's take a look at the summary. So the registration component summary is, we have created a registration component which contains a form for username, password, and other required details to create a new user. Upon submission, we will be verifying the form and storing the details in local database with the help of user service and redirecting user back to the login page with success message using the message component service. And we will be generating error if something goes wrong with the help of alert service. The newly created user can log in from the login page. So this is it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will be creating our root guard and interceptors. So please like, share and leave comment about the tutorial. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest notifications from us. Thanks for watching.